Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Array Iterator op. I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Great, let's get started. Um, I want to like generate a load of spheres and put them into random positions. So I'm going to get a random array op, and this is going to generate an array of random numbers. So I'm going to put the amount of numbers in the array to 20, I'm going to say minimum minus one, maximum one. But how do I get this array of data, which I click here in the magnifying glass, how do I get this and get it into my shape? Well, that's what the array iterator op is for. This allows me to loop over every element of an array. I'm going to press F so we can see the flow. It's not so busy here. I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to plug this here. I'm going to plug this here. Now we see lots more activity because there's a trigger for each value inside of the array. So the first value is index. The second one is the value of what's in the array. So I'm going to put this in position X. Voila. We now have these random numbers here, and they're being mapped to position X. So I can now just get a random seed and get different outputs. Let me make the sphere a little bit smaller so we can see what's happening. Great, so let's do something else. I'm gonna disconnect this and this and this. And now I'm gonna make a random array 3x. So this is to generate x, y, z values. Very similar approach. I'm gonna type in array iterator and get array iterator 3x. So now I'm gonna get the trigger, plug it in again, this trigger here. And we have index out, and now we have one, two, and three. It's like X, Y, Z values. So I'm going to plug this into transform position X, this one into position Y, and this one into position Z. And now I'm going to make the scale smaller. And as you can see, we've now generated uh, an array with a lot of numbers, which we're then splitting into groups of three, which is X, Y, Z. I'm just going to turn off flow mode for a moment. So if I now go here, I can put the number of values in 20, 30, 50. I can change the seed. And this is a great way just to generate uh, 3D positional data for a lot of shapes. I can now say uh, minimum minus 0 0.5, max 0 0.5, so they're more clumped together. I could say minus 2 to 2. So the array iterator op is just a way to get values out of an array. So I hope this video has been educational and shown you some cool new tricks today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the video below or in the forum. Thanks for your time. Bye.